In this demo, we're going to configure NAT or Network Address Translation. We're going to allow traffic from our LAN network to go to our DMZ network. The first thing we're going to do is configure NAT to allow remote desktop protocol from this machine here with the IP address of 10.10.10.10 .10 through the firewall to PC01. The second thing we'll do is configure NAT to allow us to use SSH from our 10.10.10.10 machine through the firewall to our Kali Linux machine with the IP of 172.16.1.6. The third thing we'll do is modify our remote desktop protocol NAT rule to use a custom port through the LAN. But when it enters the DMZ, it'll use a custom port number. Let's get started. I'm at the dashboard of my PFSense security appliance. I want to come down and confirm that I have my three interfaces here. I have my WAN, LAN, and DMZ, and they all look good. We'll go up to Firewall and select NAT from the menu. This takes us to the Port Forward tab by default, so we'll go over and click on the Add button with the up arrow. We don't have anything configured yet, so it doesn't matter which button we click on here. Okay, so we're doing Remote Desktop Protocol first. We want to configure the interface for the LAN interface, so I'll pick that from the list. Our protocol will be TCP, but I'll click on the list so you can see all the protocols that we can choose from. For the destination, we want to use a LAN address here. For our destination port range, Microsoft Remote Desktop Protocol is listed under MSRDP. I can pick that from the list and it'll use the default port of 3389. Now, if for some reason the service isn't listed, we can just put in a custom port number. Even though MSRDP is listed, I could just put in the port here, 3389. Now for the redirect target port. This is where the traffic goes when it leaves the firewall. Let's look at our diagram again. Here I have PC01. This particular PC is getting its IP via DHCP, so let's jump over to that machine for a minute and confirm the IP address. The preferred method would be to have either static IPs or reserved IPs configured with DHCP, but I like doing things the hard way. I'm on PC01 and I'll open a command prompt and enter ipconfig. My IP is 172.16.1.101. That's the IP I need to enter in my settings. So let's go back and do that now. I'm back here on PFSense and I'll type in 172.16.1.101. The target port is going to be MSRDP again. My description will be RDP from LAN to PC01. Now, this next part is really cool. With a lot of devices, when you create a NAT rule, you have to remember to go in and create a rule in the firewall to allow it through. With PFSense, under Filter Rule Association, you can have it add the associated filter rule automatically. So, yes, we certainly like this, and whenever possible, we want to use it. Click Save, and then click Apply Changes. Now, just to confirm, let's look and see if our firewall rule was created. I'm sure it's there, but I like to verify things before I rely on them. So go to Firewall and then to Rules. Now, make sure you're on the LAN interface. And right down here at the bottom is the rule that was just created. It shows the destination IP and port. All right, let's see that this is working with our own eyes. Let's go ahead and see if we can use Remote Desktop Protocol to get from PC02 on the LAN over to PC01 over on the DMZ. I'm actually doing all my work from PC02, so this is the machine on the LAN. Let's open up Remote Desktop and see if we can make a connection. Now this part can be a little confusing. My LAN doesn't know anything about my DMZ. It doesn't know about the computers there or the IP address scheme. It's a totally different network. I need to put in the IP address of my LAN gateway, which is 10.10.10.1. When I hit that address, my NAT rule will say, hey, I need to take this RDP connection, translate it to the 172.16 network, and then forward it to PC01. Let's go back to PC01 on the LAN and click on Connect. Getting a prompt for the password is a great sign. I'll type in my password and press enter. Okay, it took just a few seconds, but I'm connected to PC01 over on the DMZ. 
My command prompt is still open, so just to be sure, I'll do an IP config, and it looks great. If we look up here, the IP is 10.10.10.1. That's the IP address of my PFSense, and it's where this machine thinks the connection is originating from because of NAT. Let's create another NAT rule. Let's go back to PFSense and go to Firewall, NAT. Let's look at the diagram again. This time, I want to use NAT to allow us to use SSH on port 22 from PC02 through the firewall to our Kali Linux machine with the IP of 172.16.1.6. I have the program PuTTY, and I need to do some command line configurations on this machine occasionally. All right, back to my PFSense. Let's click on Add. I'm on the NAT, Port Forward, Edit page again. Once again, for interface, I'll pick LAN. SSH does use TCP, so I'll leave that set to TCP. Destination is the LAN address, just like remote desktop. Destination port range will be SSH from the list. Remember that the IP for the Kali machine was 172.16.1.6. Redirect target port is also SSH. And for the description, I'll type allow SSH from LAN to Kali on DMZ. Once again, we can have it create the rule for us. Click on save and then apply changes. I want to confirm that my rule is there just like we did for RDP. Go to firewall and rules. Make sure that I'm on the LAN interface. Here at the bottom is my SSH rule that was created along with the NAT rule. I have my IP, port 22, and my description. All right, I've switched back over to NAT port forwarding. The final thing I wanna do is edit our remote desktop protocol NAT settings. Under actions, I'll click on the edit icon. That takes us to the edit page. I'll scroll down. Under destination port range, I'm going to change this to a custom port. I'm going to put in 5151 in both places here. Click on save, and let's go to our diagram and I'll explain what we're doing. Over on the DMZ, I have a web server and I also have my Windows 10 machine. I want to get to both of them using remote desktop protocol, but when I enter the IP 10.10.10.1, NAT is configured to send the traffic to PC01 on the DMZ. So the question is, how can I use RDP to get to a different machine? Well, that's where I can change the port that's hitting the 10.10.10.1 IP address with a custom port. Instead of using the default port of 3389, I'm going to use 5151. So in this scenario, I'm editing the existing NAT configuration to have traffic go to PC01 on the DMZ. Okay, I'm back on PC02. And like I said before, this is the PC that I'm using to configure PFSense from. I'll hit apply changes and our NAT rule has been updated. Now before ending the demo, I just want to confirm that this is working and show you how to use a custom port with RDP. I'll open up remote desktop connection again. At the end of the IP address for my PFSense, 10.10.10.1, I want to add a colon and follow that with the port number 5151. This is called a socket. Some call it a network socket or address socket. Now I'll click connect, enter in my password, and wait for the connection to complete. We've connected to our PC over on the DMZ once again, but this time using a custom port on the LAN side. I'll do an IP config just for the fun of it, and we're good to go. That's it for this demo. In this demo, we created NAT rules. First, we created a remote desktop connection rule. Then we created a NAT rule for SSH. And finally, we modified our remote desktop rule to use a custom port on our LAN.